Hello, thank you for joining me. So today I wanna to walk you through a trick that I like to implement when I'm working on rough ideas. Basically, um, if I've got this like melody or riff idea and I've trapped it in my phone and I want to quickly develop it just so that I don't like lose the vibe, this is what I like to do. So as you can see, I have everything tabbed out here in Guitar Pro 8, got my tempo information, I've got my meter and the riff itself. In fact, let's listen to it real quick. Cool. So what's really, really cool about Guitar Pro 8 is that I'm able to actually export this as, an, as a MIDI file. And from there, I can open it up into Logic Pro and then develop it further, right? You know, throw on some drums, throw on a bass track, build up the arrangements from there, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I wanna show you how to quickly do that. Really, really, really easy. I'm gonna go to File, go down to Export. And as you can see, we have this whole list of options available to us. I just want MIDI and it defaults to my downloads folder. I'm actually gonna switch the folder here because that's a mess over there. I'm gonna go to my desktop, create a new folder. We'll call this Winter Riff. Create that, save, and now it's exported it as a MIDI file. So I'm gonna take you now to my desktop just to show you what that looks like, and then from there, I'll show you how I import it into the session. Okay, so here is my beautiful barren desktop. And as you can see, here is my folder with the idea that I just exported out of Guitar Pro. So I'm gonna just double click on that. There's my MIDI file. Now, there's a number of different ways that I could do this. Um, you might have a different DAW than me, so I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I use it in Logic Pro X specifically. Because that's my default DAW, all I have to do here is simply double click this and it's going to create a brand new Logic session. And that's gonna be complete with the tempo information and everything else, so here we go. And here we are. So let's take a look at the session as it's kind of just in its beginning stages here. So as you can see, tempo information is already there. It defaults to 4-4 and the key is C major here. We're actually in the key of A minor, but that's the relative minor to C major anyway, so that's fine. Now we have this default studio grand piano, which we don't really need and get rid of that, but let's have a listen. So yeah, I have everything I need to get started with just building this out into something bigger than what it is right now. So I can double click on this, I can manipulate the MIDI notes here if I want to. Change stuff, delete stuff, undo that. <laughs> Anything I wanna do, right? I could change the instrumentation. Going over here, right? I could select something else. I wanna turn it into a bass. Let's do crunchy pop bass. Let's see what that sounds like now. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so hopefully you get the idea. All right, so I wanna show you another way to go about this if you don't have Logic Pro uh, and you need to do things in a more manual, systematic way. Okay, so let's do this again, but in a slightly different way. So what I'm gonna do first is launch Logic Pro. Wait for that to boot up. Okay. So it defaults to opening up the last session that I worked in. I actually wanna create a brand new session. So I'm gonna to go to File, New, close everything out, don't save. Okay, so here we are creating a brand new session, right? Here is, it's a little bit more time consuming just because I have to input all of the information you know, manually. But what I'll do is start by creating a software instrument track. Create that. 
And then I will set my tempo to the tempo of my riff idea, which is 67 beats per minute. Um, so it defaults to C major, which is the relative major to A minor. So I can actually leave that as it is right now. And now what I want to do is just import MIDI file. And I can go to my winter riff folder on my desktop, select that, import that, and bam, we've got acoustic guitar. All right, let's listen to that. Beautiful. And from here, I'm now able to, you know, go crazy and, and build out the arrangement, add drums, add bass, which I do in a separate video. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the link below and I will see you over there as well. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps and I will see you on the next one.